Hey, this is Thing of Thugger. Did a Bigfoot photo bomb this photo shoot? And if a tree falls in the forest and someone is there to hear it and film it, does that mean it has to be a hoax? Because according to the guy that filmed it, it was a Bigfoot. So stick around, we're definitely gonna take a closer look. Oh my God. <clears throat> First question. We all know Mother Nature can rip trees like this down in the blink of an eye, but is there a creature on the planet with that much power? And behold, the answer is yes. And if you want to see the full clip, just go check out the original posted by YouTuber Eddie Upshaw. It's an awesome display of power. So, we know there are living, breathing creatures that could knock down one of these huge trees here, but are there any in Northern California? Which is where this clip was filmed by YouTuber, rapper, and now Bigfoot believer and enthusiast, Unseen7X, who, as the story goes, was walking his dog back behind his house, saw this massive tree shaking, fired up his camera, pointed it, and caught this. Whoa. Whoa. That tree just fell. Oh my God. But <coughs> before that ever happened, Oh my God. Again, he was doing a photo shoot with his girlfriend here, I believe. Pretty girl. And as it often happens, they had no idea whatsoever that anyone was back there until they got home and started reviewing the shots. And that's when they found this curious guy right up here. And when your backyard borders a forest, a wilderness area, you're not expecting someone to be back there snooping around. So wanting to get to the bottom of who or what was back there messing around, they went and had a look. And look at this place, really special. He's got wild turkeys back there, an excellent food source. And then they found what they called nest. And what's weird is, there by the nest they found the stick that the girl was holding in the photo shoot. I would keep that stick. And then they found some large branches that had been broken off and gnawed around the edges. And no, I don't believe there are any seven to eight foot tall bipedal beavers in the area, but who knows. And then we've got this ancient looking ceremonial stone configuration and there's caves back there. He finds the craziest stuff. So here we are back at the tree falling. And the first thing I did was stabilize the footage to see if we could see who or what was back there. But first, Let's see a show of hands. How many of you have been out and about and seen a tree just fall? And I'm not talking about during a storm or flood or heavy machinery being used or someone cutting one down. I'm talking about it just fell and not from rot because in my life, and I'm about 320 years old, I've seen one tree fall. And I've got tons of camera gear, but I guarantee you had I had something on me, I wouldn't have even had a chance to turn it on because it was over in a flash and I was just awestruck. So the, for the fact alone that he witnessed and filmed a tree falling, if that indeed is what happened, makes this a pretty rare video. Okay, so now I've stabilized the footage so we can better see back in here what's going on. And by the way, this dark human looking form, it's just a knot in the tree or a burn mark. What you wanna be watching is right around in here. And this, by the way, is the tree that falls. So now I'm gonna just scrub through slowly and we see right there, a big chunk of wood fly out. And in a second, you'll see another one coming off the right. Here we go. Chunks of wood just falling, flying off the tree. And now it's cracking and falling. And he points the camera up. And here we see the tree extending off the top of the screen, even with the camera pointed up. So it was a good sized tree. 
And I don't believe the tree was rotten because look, look what we're seeing here. That looks like fresh, good wood. And it doesn't look like it was, it was sawed. It looked like it splintered and, and fell off. And now the tree is still falling. Here we see it again. Okay, so now I'm gonna scrub through again with it all zoomed in. And even HD footage, once you've zoomed in, it, it doesn't matter what kind of footage, once you've zoomed in, it starts looking rough and all, all pixelated and choppy. I call it zoom distortion. Some people still don't get that. They, they think HD footage is supposed to be like magic footage, I guess. And, and it's just, it's just not. So here we go, scrubbing through. And we see the big chunk fly out there. And the first time I saw that, I thought it was a, a little black squirrel, but Unseen 7X was good enough to send me the original footage or, or at least a copy of it. And so now we can better see that it, it was just a chunk of wood and here comes second chunk of wood there it goes falling or being thrown out however you prefer to think it and now it's just chaos again the trees falling okay so now let's just dive in how would you hoax something like this i mean we already saw back over here that the tree was not just cut now i guess somebody could have cut down at an angle and then say driven wedges in I you know I don't I don't know if you could fall a, a, a giant tree like that I, I guess it's possible but I, I would just have to see somebody do it um, another alternative is they they, they pre-cut the tree and now we've got four groups of, of people out here each group with a rope that runs up to the top of the tree and then when the tree starts falling now notice we don't see anybody out there and we don't see any ropes cables or cords running up and i'm just going to go slowly through looking for you know those are those are limbs and we're going to go he's going to aim the camera back up into the treetops which if there would have been ropes or cables up here him pointing the camera up there was a really bad move if they were trying to hoax it. So, no cables or cords. Uh, I, I guess a third alternat alternative is heavy equipment back in here. But look, I mean, it's all trees, it's all brush. Where Where is this heavy equipment? A and what would it be? What, what, what could they have hidden back in here that would hold a tree that size up. I guess you could have something like this fabricated where you take the two halves, you bolt them together around the tree, and then you saw a little there in the center, and then you loosen all the bolts, and then you turn it, and you saw a little more, and you just keep doing that. But we already saw where the tree wasn't a straight cut, so something like this wouldn't work. So now, what if it was what Unseen 7X said it was? He and his dog came walking up to this area, they saw that massive tree shaking, swaying, and then crack, pop, big chunks of it are torn and thrown out. And he said something, it sounded like something hit it, and we hear the big pop and knocked it over. I mean, that is, that is unheard of strength for, for something on two legs. I mean, that's like, that's like comic book character strength, you know, Incredible Hulk or, or Superman or something. It's, it's just almost unthinkable. But then this isn't anything new. We've heard about, you know, or, and seen plenty of videos and pictures about giant tree structures out in the woods and uh, big giant trees shaking and swaying. And we just saw on Les Stroud's Survivor Man, where he was up in like Klim 2 BC or some, some place like that, uh, where at the end of his show, a massive tree fell over. And I'll tell you what, he was startled. He was ready to scoot on out of there. And he, it's funny, he said that 
In the past, he had heard trees fall like that several times. And he always just chalked it up to, wow, I was just in the right place at the right time and heard yet another tree fall over. But now he's rethinking that whole thing. So could this be some sort of warning? These and then the big tree structures and trees drug out over roads. I, I, would say, I would say it's a pretty effective warning. So anyway, that was our closer look. Your turn to weigh in. What happened here? And if you believe this was hoaxed, show us. Don't tell us. Get out there with your saw and your camera and your buddies and show us how easy this would be to do. And, you know, don't kill yourself. And it's going to be a shame to waste a perfectly good tree. However, I don't think anybody's going to step up and, and take me up on this. So no harm's going to be done. So that's it, guys. And thanks so much for making my channel a success. If you like what I do and want to say buy me a cup of coffee or show your support, you can click on my name, Thunder Thunder, which takes you to my channel page. If you're on a PC or Mac, you should see the blue support button. If you're on a cell phone, uh, you would go to my about page from the menu and you'll see the support link there. Or you can click the new info button that pops up on the screen from time to time. I sure would appreciate it. And I appreciate those of you who do. Thank you so much. Uh, also, please subscribe, like if you like, comment, and share my videos with your friends. And again, special thanks to Unseen7x for sending me an original copy of this footage. He's got several videos on his channel where he goes into detail about all this stuff and he's making other discoveries there. Something, something is going on in that area. Something, something inexplicable. And it's had a profound effect, a, a profound change on his life. So go check out his videos, pay your respects. That's it guys, thanks a lot.